Hey guys, so today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be making waffles. We'll add cinnamon to them and make them very like fall-like. Um, I'm also, they're also dairy-free, so this is a good recipe for dairy-free waffles. And today I'm using the Ripple Almond Milk. Okay, so the ingredients you'll need is one egg, vanilla extract, almond milk, looking at my recipe here, vegetable oil, white sugar, baking powder, oops, baking powder, this is the one I'm using today, salt, and that's the sugar, and flour. Okay, so to start off, you're going to want to take one egg and break it into a bowl. These are our farm fresh eggs. We have 13 chickens, so we get these from our backyard. You can use any egg, obviously, but those are just the ones that I'm using today. And then you're going to whisk that until it is totally foamy. So today I'm going to use this whisk, and I'm just going to take my egg that's in there. It's going to fall out if I do any more. And I'm just going to whisk it. I'm just going to continue whisking it until it's foamy. The next thing I'm going to be doing is adding my almond milk. I have my almond milk here and you're supposed to add one cup. If you want the written recipe for this, um, I'll leave it in the description down below. I'll give you guys a link of where I got this recipe. This is just a video on how to do it. So I'm going to add my almond milk. I'm going to do one cup. Ooh, okay. So you can use any almond milk of your choice. This is one cup of almond milk. And I love Ripple because it's super creamy and it tastes so good. After that, you're going to add the vanilla and the vegetable oil. So vanilla is only one-fourth teaspoon. So I'm going to see if I can get this open. Okay, so I grabbed a different vanilla because I could not open that other one. Okay, so this is just one fourth teaspoon. Alright, so this is as much as you need, just a little tiny bit. And I'm just going to pour that in there. There we go. And after that, you're going to add your vegetable oil. Um, and for that, you're going to need one fourth cup. So where's my cup? Oh, there it is. I'm a little unorganized, guys. And you're just going to keep pouring until you get there. Oh, I went a little over. Perfect. So this is just one fourth cup. And you're going to pour that in there. And then you're going to whisk. I know that I have also not made a video in such a long time. It's because, actually, I don't really have an excuse. I just, like, haven't. Because I've been so busy. And I just, you know... Just thought I'd get, take this opportunity to show you guys how to make delicious dairy-free waffles and give you a life update. So, I started school, obviously, forever ago, like August. It's almost Halloween. I'm going to be a purge lady. I'm going to be the Lady Liberty one from, um, so I was looking at the viewfinder. Look over here now at the camera. Um, I'm going to be the Lady Liberty lady from the last purge. That's like foreign one, so I'm going to come and do that. Okay, so after you whisk it, you're going to add in your sugar. So today I'm just using normal granulated white sugar. And in that, you're going to need one and a half cups. I'm going to take my sugar. I'm going to just pour it in. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, God, that seems like a lot. I feel like I shouldn't have that much sugar in my pancakes or in my waffles. I'm going to double check this. It says one and one cup tea teaspoons. Teaspoons. Guys, I almost poured this in there. I almost did. I, oh my gosh. Instead, I'm going to use these. Yep. All right. That's a tablespoon. So I'm going to need one teaspoon. There is a teaspoon, guys. And then... <laughs> You're going to need a half a teaspoon. And there's the half a teaspoon. Got to get that in there. 
And then I'm just going to mix it. All right, and then you're going to add in your baking powder. Hopefully I have enough of this. There's only like a tiny bit left. And I need two teaspoons. Ooh, I don't think I'll have enough. That would be bad. Okay. One teaspoon. That was my brother, guys. Okay. And come on. In. Oh, and it's in. Yep. Here we go. Okay. For the salt, you're going to need. You're going to need one eighth teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to get that out. It's the tiniest, tiniest bit because you don't want to go overboard. Just using this one with the little dispenser. Ooh, I went overboard. Yep. Great. Or whatever. Hold on. Go into the sink. All right. There we go. Got it. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to whisk for a third time. You guys know what the whisking looks like. I'm going to go grab some cinnamon. I'm going to go grab some cinnamon and I'm just going to dash a little in there. Just like. I get some flavor. And then I'm just going to add a little allspice. Have you guys seen Stranger Things? Okay, if you have, tell me. Because I freaking love it. I So I started it and then I watched two episodes in one night and they're like really long. So they're like an hour. So I like watched two episodes and I, <laughs> then I was like, okay, so now we're just gonna, the next day I went, I went to bed and the next day it was a Friday. So I got up, went to the couch, stayed in bed, went to the couch, went downstairs, did a ton of stuff, but I watched it all day, finished all the episodes or the rest of the six that I hadn't finished. Such a good show. I'm so pumped for season two. I like need to know answers to everything. I mean, there's not, it's not really a cliffhanger at the end, but it's like kind of is, and it's like. Now we need flour, which we need one cup of, which I'm gonna use a different thing because this is like filled with stuff, so I'm gonna use this big one. Ooh, there is dust floating around. I mean, obviously it's not dust, it's flour. But, oh, I did a little too much. This is one cup, it's just in a big bowl. So we're going to add that in. And we're going to mix one more time. I think this is, this is pretty good. Does this look too sticky to you guys? Here. Oh no, that looks perfect. Just kidding. Ignore what I just said. Just had to see it in real life on camera. Bam, okay, so now we're gonna get out the waffle iron. I'm gonna break you guys. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, oh no, I'm too big for this now. <sighs> My waffle iron's up here. Is it up here? Where would it be? Okay. Dad? Coming, guys. It's a crazy search for the waffle maker. Oh, I got it, found it. Ha, guys, I found it. Okay, so I moved the thing down here so you could see me pour it into the waffle maker. I assume these are already non-stick, but just to be safe, I'm gonna use my dairy-free butter. So now, I'm just going to pour my waffles in there. All right. Scraped off the sides of the batter on the this. So I can get all the waffles. And I'm kind of scared because I kind of suck at making waffles. They always spill over the edge. So I'm going to start really minimal. And maybe a little more. All right, that should be good. It smells like churros. Yeah, that's what it smells like. And my hair is disgusting. I'm sorry, it's so frizzy. In her photo, they looked like this when they were done, so I kind of feel like they're done. And it's a really small pancake, guys. I just I didn't want to go overboard. Oh, okay, ready? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, no, I broke it. Sad day, sad day. No. 
No, stop going in the cracks. Ah! Oh! Okay, ow, frick, it's hot. It's real hot, okay. So that was a test run, test pancake. All right, hold on, we got this. Yo, okay, it's real hot, okay. Here we go, I'm gonna do a little more this time, then I'll be a little braver. All right, looks, I'm scared it's still gonna be too small. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Let me show you, I just tripped over my dog, sorry. Let me show you what butter I'm using. I'm using the Earth Balance. Soy free, dairy free. Okay, it's probably done. Ah, oh, I didn't make it big enough again. Poop on my life. Poop on my life. It's just a little too small, look. Just the littlest bit too small. And these ones also stay white, um, cause she said in her, like I was reading her thing and she said that they don't actually get like a golden brown because of the fact that they like, don't actually cook that way. So they just need a little more time. But yeah, so that's what these are gonna look like. They're not gonna cook perfectly. A bit, that's hot. And I'm, oh no! When I did that, I broke into four pieces. Fuck my life. Literally, that was the worst experience ever. All right, guys, this is all the batter I have left in here. I'm gonna pour it all in and hope for the best. It's gonna be a small pancake. I should've just gone with my instincts and added more last time. I thought it was like gonna be fine, but it wasn't. Watch this one be too much, great. Trying to get in there quickly. All right. If this one isn't perfect, I don't know what would be because that was a lot of batter. No, no, don't pick it up, Julia. You know how I'm going to pick up a waffle that is cooking. It comes off and it splits. It's a mess. I'm gonna put some of this away. I didn't forget. It's fine. <gasps> yes! Except I wish I could like add whipped cream on this, but obviously I can't because I can't have dairy. Y'all, it even made it, made it perfect. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to try to make this one not fall apart. You're not allowed to fall. I'm going to go under the middle. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, I feel like I need a little more time. Don't go breaking my heart. I wouldn't if I tried. <laughs> Success. Oh, that's my shirt. Bam. Get my own peanut butter. Put some raspberries, put some syrup, and we'll be good. Okay, I'm gonna grab my peanut butter. Got the Skippy brand. I'm gonna use this one because we only have a little bit of this left and like, I kinda wanna just use it. So. D, 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 D. Oh, there it is. D, 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 D. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to make this pretty guys. Like, I don't know which, who you think I am, but I am not, um, I mean, I like to dress them pretty, but like, I'm not like super obsessed with it. This is what my hair looks like. This is my natural hair guys. If you ever wanted to see it, this is why it's so frizzy. It's so freaking annoying. I hate it. I'm going to clean up after I eat because this mess is atrocious and ugh, I'm going to get in trouble if I don't. But right anyway, here's my dairy-free waffle. Peanut butter, raspberry syrup on top. Mm, so freaking delicious. Yes. Yes. Oh, Pinterest. Pinterest worthy. I'm, oh my gosh, I love that photo. Yay, look how pretty. I'm going to try it. Oh, easy to cut. So good. I'm so, A plus, Julia. You've never cooked before. Yay. Good job. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you make these dairy-free waffles. Hope they help you if you are dairy-free, if you are, I'm not vegan, but if you like have a dairy allergy, make these so good. All right, bye.